it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Pepper Trip. Uh, it's a season, Imperial season, by Brasserie Thuraz. It's 8% ABV. Really looking forward to this one. We've got a black bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Whoop. Got that all wrong. Not the, you know, you never thought I would have poured over 5,100 beers, would you? Pouring beer all over my kitchen. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. It's why you tune in. It's why you, it's why you keep coming back. Uh, we got a three finger white head. Look at the suspension of yeast and unfiltered goodness in that glass. Lovely levels of carbonation. Quite a, well, it would be a clear looking beard if it wasn't for all that lovely kind of suspension in there. Amber in colour. At this stage of the beer review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe UK, for sponsoring today's video. Beers of Europe, fantastic online beer company, and they have a shop in Norfolk uh, where they sell beer all over the all over the UK from all over the world. Largest online beer store in the UK, fabulous range there. Check them out in the description box of our video www.beersofeurope.co.uk Okay, aroma on this lovely looking beer. Whoa. Yeah, there's something very imperial about this. There's something very jammy and tart-like about this beer as well. There's a certain dryness. I know it sounds strange smelling a beer and talking about dryness, but there's a certain dryness about the beer. Definite pepperiness. Yeah, that's it. That's what I was missing. The, they're talking about, it's called a pepper, some, what's it called? A, a pepper trip. So you definitely get a bit of spice in there. Right, here we go. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 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 that's really different. That's really different, but I really like it. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a beer. What a different beer. Um, have you ever, we've all done it. Have you ever like opened the pepper pot and put you, I, for some, whatever reason, as a kid or as a young adult, you're going to smell the top of a pepper pot and you go, Oh, you, you, go, you, you just do that with your nose, don't you? Like, whoa, blimey, that's, um, that's kind of like hash. My first reaction wasn't to bang my nose about, was, was, was just to go, blimey, that, but in my throat, like, pepper, white, white pepper, loads of white pepper in my throat. Strange, interesting, but really good. I like. I like the concept. I like the concept of that. It's different. And then it all calms down a bit. You've, your palate has already adjusted to that kind of wild white pepper flavour. And then it's all about the saison aspect then of the beer. It's all kind of like funky and the, the carbonation's there nicely. Pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases all that flavour. There's some lemon in there, funkiness. That's all coming from the yeast, saison yeast. It's really good. It's really good, but it's really, really weird. I could understand people really not liking this beer. And I could understand people really liking it. It's going to be one of those Marmite beers, I'm afraid, this one. You will either love it or hate it. Personally, for an 8% ABV beer, I think it's doing a marvellous job. It's hidden kind of all of the alcohol tones in the beer. It's 
and it's just made something really interesting. I mentioned earlier on in the beer review, I've reviewed over 5,100 beers now. I think it's something like 5,130. Who's counting? But not that the beers all get the same, all taste the same, but you can only have so much of a a variation in a style like an IPA or only so much variation in a style like a stout or a porter. When somebody bangs a load of pepper in a saison, it, it just makes you kind of like, oh, it's something new. It's something I've not tried before. It's a bit like that excitement, excitement when you get yourself a new pair of slippers. Yeah, they do the same thing, they do the same job, they're a pair of slippers. But they're a new pair of slippers. You know, because if you're like me, you wear your slippers until they fall off your feet. They're like, I don't know, literally kind of ripped and torn and... And, and, and it's like the excitement of a new pair of slippers. The excitement for me is to try new styles of beer. And this is something very, very nice. I like it. The malt is nice and kind of lovely. There's a nice kind of medium kind of body to the beer. There's a little bit of sweet malt in there that carries on nicely to go with that kind of bitterness on the back end from the hops they've used. It's a nettily hop. So you imagine all these different flavours. Pepper, a little bit of sweet malt. N Stinging nettle hops on the back end, bitterness. It, 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 it's like it's a real headbanger, isn't it? Of a beer, like funky flavors from the Saison yeast. I'm gonna rate it. I think I've said enough about this beer. This Pepper Trip from France, Brasserie Thiraz. I tell you, I'm really pleased. Um, I, get, I get to order the beers on the channel. And I thought to myself, let's have a look under the French section this month. And I started off, when they, I picked 10 beers, they got delivered last week. And I started off with a really dreadful pills now. And I was like, oh no, oh no, I've had a re you know, as I've mentioned, I've had some bad beers from France. And I was like, oh no, it's, it's a really bad pills now. And, but then there's beers like this that kind of make up for it. They make you smile. They make you smile. I like that enough to give it a stone the crones. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.